Tepok. What does Pok Tepok mean? Means place of the sound. Why place of the sound? Because of course, when the mind people, when the people touch the ball, the ball produces a sound. Pok tak, pok tak, pok tak pok. Right? Only with the elbows, hips, and knees, people touch the ball. But of course, those parts covered with the skins of animals. But señores, if another player of the other team touch the ball with another part of the body that no was covered with the skins of animals, the ball produces a sound seven times. Seven times. Pay attention and listen to this. By the way, do you remember who is Edwin? Mm -hmm. It's our tour conductor, right? Mr. Edwin, it's in the back side of that wall. Ready, Edwin? Yes, right. <laughs> Please open the magic door. Remember. If somebody of the other team touched the ball with another part of the body that no was covered with the skins of animals, the ball produced a sound seven times. Pay attention and listen to this. Seven times, right? Thank you, Edwin. <laughs> By the way, do you remember the sound in the main temple? Yeah. It's different than this one. This is a good the other one. It's acoustic, right? So each team had seven players, six on the right side, six on the other side, one of the captains right there on the platform, the other captain right here on this platform. The ritual, because was a ritual, no was a game. The ritual consists that people produce a rubable throw the race. By the way, the smaller ball that archaeologists found has 3 kilograms, 28 centimeters of diameter. The biggest one, 5 kilograms and a half, 43 centimeters of diameter. But, seniors, the first bishop that arrived here, Diego de Landa, observed this ritual in another Mayan city and he wrote in his book During three days playing, nobody introduced the ball through the rings. It was real difficult. But they moved the ball side to side. These were the Mayan people represented the movement of the sun. The balls representing the sun, the seven players, the seven most important planets around the sun. The idea was to introduce the ball for the rings, but was very difficult, so they moved side to side and they counted how many times the ball touched the field in this side or the other side. According to the number, it's going to be the winner or the loser. I'm going to explain about this later. Wait a moment. Let me show you your regular camera. Remember, seven players in each team. Let 